Values of Marriage, Pablo Nieves is divorcing Stephanie Carrion because he says she has no sex drive. I'm a 53-year-old Puerto Rican brother that likes to get his freak on. I like to make love to my woman. I like to please her like I'm supposed to please her, right? When the bacon is cooking, I like it to sizzle. But Stephanie says she's tried her best to please her husband. What other woman do you know that's going to take it up on herself to buy him a blow-up doll? No, no, no. Let me tell you what I happened. I would have bought my man a blow-up doll because I couldn't do it for you, baby. Did she do that? She's the judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Todar, where real couples deal with real life. Divorce Court. We now join Pablo Nieves and Stephanie Carrion as Judge Lynn hears their case. Mr. Nieves, you have brought Ms. Carrion here because you would like me to award you $480, which you say is the price of a bracelet that you gave to Ms. Carrion, and you're saying if she's leaving you, she's leaving you without that. Ms. Carrion, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your marriage and why we ended up here today? Well, Judge, it's like this. I'm here because this Don Juan, Ricky Ricardo wannabe <laughs> thinks that I'm still supposed to perform sexually like I was years ago. See, that's what I'm talking about. Not, not, not that's exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm be sorry. Careful. Hey, see, I, I just said that. Here we go wrong. again. Well, here, here we, we go, go again. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I, I apologize. Yeah, that's all right. Don't, I just didn't want, you know. Well, you know, she already got me started know. already. See Ms. Miss Karen, go ahead. Okay, so like I was saying, I don't perform anymore like I used to be. I'm 52 years old now. Okay? When a woman reaches a certain peak, she has menopause. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with menopause, but. I can't have Freaky Friday like I used to. <laughs> because I'm 52. Mm -hmm. And the laws of nature ain't having it. So what does he want to do? He wants to sneak around, not let me know where he is. Oh, he no. goes See, that's to work another subject, and he comes. Yeah. This man, he works in housekeeping at the hospital. Right. How do you come home fresh okay, and clean and I'll, smell I'll, I'll, and all get to good? You. And you work in housekeeping. So you think because you can no longer have as much sex as he wants, he's getting it elsewhere. I can't give it to him like he needs it. <laughs> you got to understand, right, that I'm a 53-year-old Puerto Rican brother that likes to get his freak on, right? I like to make love to my woman. I like to please her like I'm supposed to please her, right? When the bacon is cooking, I like it to sizzle. You know what I'm saying? So when she's telling me that I can't do that, she comes with headaches. I, got, I don't want to talk to you right now. I'm not feeling I understand about the menopause. I do. You're believe right. me. I do You're understand. Right. The thing is, is it happen every day? Does it happen every minute of the hour? I wait an hour. I wait an hour after that, and I just say, you know what? I'll just wait a little bit, and then maybe I can hit it a little bit, you know, or do something where I can just please both of us. Not just me. It's not a one-sided thing. Ninety-five percent of the relationship is love. Is out of sex and and just sexing each other up, having been romantic. Don't even go there, okay? Because the first thing she wants to do is after we do talk about something, she wants to argue with me and everything else. I mean, what what am I supposed to do? That's why I'm here today. So I need your help, cause I need some kind of positive input on this situation, cause she ain't helping it none. I, I, what do you mean? I'm not helping it none. I am helping it. What other woman do you know that's going to take it up on herself to be embarrassed enough and buy him a blow-up doll? No, no, no. Let me tell you what happened. I would have bought my man a blow-up doll because I couldn't do it for you, baby. So maybe my little friend can help you out. Here we go again. Right? <laughs> She's going to go over here and get me a doll for what? Why do I need a, a doll for? You know what? Other than the sex part, can you tell me what's wrong with the marriage? Because yeah. you can work that out. There's a lot. No, we can't work that out. How are you going to work something out like that and you're trying, you're all, you know, you, you bent, spend a couple hundred dollars on a doll and he gets mad and goes off in some foreign language? Then he wants to accuse me. Okay, so last year. Yeah. He takes me to go get my Valentine's gift. 
right? A brand new 2008 suicide door car, because I love suicide doors. I then, don't even know what those are. Okay, you know like a side-by-side -side refrigerator, the door is open uh -huh. like that? Okay, well that's oh, okay. the kind of car I got. Okay. Okay, two months down the road, he asks me, when am I gonna start paying a car note? How you gonna pay a car note on a gift? Okay, so then you go, okay, so. a car note on a okay, gift? Okay, okay, so first of all, we are self-supporting through our own contribution. Oh, Not just that. my own contribution. We're supposed to be as one together and do things as one and make things work together as bills. This is not the only issue that comes being about the car. There's other issues. When we get mad or when she gets mad at me, the first thing she wants to do is go get the credit card without my permission. She has these parties with her friends and go buy uh, uh, expensive things so she can uh, relieve the pain that's inside her soul that is costing me all the money. Pain. Are you a stress shopper, pain. Mrs. Carrion? Are you a stress shopper when things get upset? Some people Tell them do the that. truth and don't go lie. Out I'm a there shop shopper. Money. I'm not a stress shopper. I'm a shop shopper. I was born to shop. Okay? <laughs> I was born to stress shop and I'm a stress. shop shopper. You going out shopping. Not only that, but I'm a bargain shopper. At least, you know, at, oh, at least I say that. Shopper. At least I'm a bargain Excuse shopper. Me, Judge. Okay, you know, I had to get this off the bargain rack. It's talk. very nice. Thank very you. nice. Bargain very nice. rack, 201. <laughs> 201. <laughs> that's that, that's every day. Rack. That's all I mean, the time. So at least I, you know, how often do you do that? Tell oh, the truth. Only about four times a week. No, you see. No, <laughs> you, seven, now you gotta understand. Now, now you understand where I'm coming from. There's seven days in a week. There's seven days in a week. Okay, so only about four times a week. When I get you paid make, on Friday. Bargain or no bargain, are you making purchases that are beyond you guys' ability to comfortably afford? No, I work. Oh, that's not oh, the answer that. to the question. No, that yes. You could, you know what I mean? Do you buy more than you can comfortably afford? No, I don't. I buy exactly what I need. If he can't afford, he need to get another job. <laughs> What will Pablo say to Stephanie's accusations? She doesn't even take the pills because she says that it just don't make her feel. That right. wasn't no reason for you to put them in my orange I juice. Didn't put them in a, you put them in my orange juice. If you would been stirs up some trouble. It enhances libido. That wasn't no reason to put them in my orange I juice. Then all the money in the world couldn't buy this wife's affection. How much does it cost to spell cheese and diamonds? This week on Divorce Court. Divorce Court is back with the case of Pablo Nieves, who is suing his wife for $480, the cost of a bracelet he bought her and wants back. But first, Judge Lynn continues to hear why this couple is divorcing. He's a gamer. He's an online gamer, okay, with the laptop and the things. Like and poker? No, they, with army games, stuff that a child's oh, supposed yeah, to be playing. Yeah. Now, my, okay. now, my boys do that. Yeah, Your my boys. boys do that. Yeah. This is a grown man. So this, is a, so this is what I do when I come home after working an eight-hour day. Right? And I and, and and I relax. This is a way of relaxing. I just come inside, I do what I gotta do, I come in, I game, I got friends all over around the world that I game with. And so and that's true. Mrs. Right? Carrying there are a lot of things a man but, can do to relax. No, hang on now. I'm working on your behalf. Okay, all right. Listen. A lot of things a man could do to relax and calm himself at the end of the day. Coming home and playing with a little kid over in China, shoot him up. Is not such a bad thing. Dígale como está. It's a bad thing. Dígale como está. It's a bad thing when that's all he does. No, that's not all I do. He does nothing else at home. You know, if I give him a decent meal, a good home cooked meal, he and I'm already washed the dishes. I've laid down for the night. I got to go to work in the morning. Does he wash his dish? No, it's in the sink. The reason why I come home and sit down is to relax after a hard day at work. After I finish at work, I go work out. Right? To release the stress of the environment that I'm in. Mm -hmm. Right? So I work out, and I, you know, after you work out and everything, you want to put on some nice cologne and stuff to smell good. What do I do when I step in the door? I get accused of cheating. That's the first thing that comes in my mouth. Oh, who, why are you smelling so good for? Why does a man who's, who's go to work? Good? What? How does a man go to work in housekeeping all day and come home fresh and when you clean, go work out every like day? Cologne? When you work well, out what, every Mrs. day, Mrs. Mrs. Carrion, what evidence do you have that he is cheating on you? 
the pictures on his laptop. Let's see, what, what are the pictures on his laptop? Okay, so he has pictures on his laptop with different women that he has his arm around or they have his arm around him and they're cozy with one another. Then he takes a vacation not long ago when I had no idea he was going. He wakes up one morning and I'm like, why well, aren't you getting ready to go to work? No, I decided I was taking a vacation. No, when did no, you decide no, this that? Is not the case. Just now. Wait, 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 wait. Just Has now. Has cheating been an issue in your marriage? Yes. <laughs> It's For been an her. issue in our marriage ever since. You said. say she's unnecessarily jealous. She's very jealous because if, if I look at a woman, the first thing she said, you white, you want to be with her, you want to sleep with her, or something like that. And I tell her, I say, look, I and on my laptops, I do Photoshop and I and I put families and collages together as you know to right. to right and 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 sell them to make some money, right? So I take pictures of people, I take pictures of families, couples. Everything. But you're not Women. in them. No, I'm not in them. She's she, uh, me up. Is he in them? He two. was in two. Oh, two. And I can oh, tell wow. you which two he was in, and I know it's all because. Okay, Your Honor, I want to step further, and he knows it. I went and got some medication. Oh, okay, yeah, that's true. I went true. and got some medication to help me along in the process. Okay, after I seen I'm the pictures. I'm scared to know what it was, after and I was I scared to know the, the process pictures. it was meant to address. Oh, no, she got, she got the pills. She got the pills. I got the pills, okay, all right. right. I got the pills, all right. Can I, can I just take a look at yeah, Don't say that. Don't right. say anything. Okay, the pills to help me was to enhance our relationship. She doesn't even take the pills because she says that it just don't make her feel that right. That wasn't no reason for you to put them in my orange I juice. I didn't put them in my You put them in my orange juice. When divorce court continues, what happens to make Stephanie break down? Mrs. Carey, you're not the, the first woman in the world to go through menopause. Pablo says Stephanie is going through the change. Do you think that menopause is the reason for the breakdown of this marriage? Divorce Court returns with the case of Stephanie Carrion, who says she can't keep up with her husband's sex drive. Pablo is in court suing his wife for $480, the cost of a bracelet he bought her and wants back. Why don't you tell me, Mrs. Carrion, what you consider to be the final straw? He's not considerate in what I'm going through with my menopause. He's trying to force sex upon our relationship, and I no, can't I'm not. do I'm it. Trying to I just cannot keep our relationship together like I used sure, to. I me. don't want to be touched. I, I don't that. want none. But she you don't understand it? that I have I needs. I don't a, want none. Well, you need to get some because I am your you husband. Know you know what? what? Mr. I, 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 Let's stop. You can do this because I don't, you know Nick, what? You told stop. me you me to death, do me part. Mr. Right? Nieves. You do anything for me. Mr. Nieves. Mr. Yes, Nieves. Yes. Oh. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to get you two out of here as quickly as I can. <laughs> Before we just dig ourselves a hole so deep we can't get back out of it. Now, now Mrs. Carey, there goes drama. You're the not the first woman in the world to go through menopause. And we understand. And that. you will not be the last. There are things you can do to feel. No, Miss, Mrs. Carrion, I don't want to go there. I don't I, need Mr. no Mr. dog. Mr. Nieves, Mr. Mr. Nieves, yes, yes, I am advocating on your behalf. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Just calm down. Mrs. <sighs> Carrion, you spe I saw your income. You can't afford what you got on. I saw your income. And you don't have the right to spend money that you don't have. That's going to bother that man. And you got a man who wouldn't carry on and was so bad about you spending more money than you've got. I ain't gonna put your business out there how much you make, but I know how much you make. And I know how much he makes. And I know you can't afford that which you are wearing. She likes to eat. And him. a 2008 car and that bracelet. And that, that, that you need love. to put that away. Love. You need to stop spending your way into happiness and find a way to, to work your emotional situation. You can you can work with that. You can go to the doctor, they can they can fiddle with this and fiddle with that and get you together. But that's a man you said forever after. Hmm. If I, that's what that is. It's, you know, you and it, it it's not, oh well, I'm done now. That that don't work that way. I tried, it doesn't work. <laughs> When Divorce Court continues, Judge Lynn rules. 
But first, what will Stephanie say? I said, I'll get it for you. And she says, you know, I promise if you get it for me, I'll sex you up, baby, for 30 days nonstop. And I said, let's do this, right? <laughs> she still owe me 28 days. Pablo says Stephanie is going through the change. Do you think that menopause is the reason for the breakdown of this marriage? Time Warner Cable's incredible. Divorce Court returns with the case of Pablo Nieves, who is suing his wife for $480, the cost of a bracelet he bought her and wants back. Mr. Nieves, tell me what it is you want from me. What I want from you, <laughs> Your Honor, is to, um, the gift that I, that I gave to her. See, uh, around December the 26th, they always have a Christmas special. Yeah. Right? And I'm on Christmas sale specials, right? So she says, Poppy, Poppy, I, I need this bracelet, the one that you see on her wrist. And, and please, can you get it for me? It's a two-carat diamond bracelet, right? I said, I'll get it for you. And she says, you know, I promise if you get it for me, I'll sex you up, baby, for 30 days nonstop. And I said, hm, let's do this, right? <laughs> I didn't have no problem with that. I didn't have no problem with that. She still owe me 28 days. She ain't even performed the video yet. He she is. Has... That is so no, not no, no, true. No, Mrs. So Carrion, so not true. Hang on, hang on, Mr. Nieves. I got Mr. the first Nieves. day, the second day, and then the third day it says, baby, I don't feel like doing nothing right now. I said, I'll give you a break. And then the next day came, I don't have that. I said, man, you got You ain't fulfilling Ms. the contract. I understand. Right? I understand. You're not filling the contract. Mrs. There's the Carrion, contract to be made here. Did you promise him 30 days of fun and enjoyment in in? In response to getting the that other gift. Day. Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay. But him agreement. talking about 28 days, who's counting? I'm counting. <laughs> who's counting? I, it's, it's been so long. <laughs> it was a gift. It was a gift because okay, you asked you for the okay. gift. Okay, let me tell you something. I cannot enforce a contract for which one of the things is sex. Do you know what I'm saying? No, no. That, no, 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 okay, no, no. Yeah. I can't enforce that kind of contract. A, a, a court can enforce that which is illegal, and you cannot in this country other than in Nevada, and there's one other place, isn't there? Like, I think Nevada and some one other place where you can do that kind of thing. In the other states, it's not legal to trade sex and barter. That's just what it is. Right, right. So I gotta give him my bracelet? I didn't say that. He you know what? You know what? I, you know, Judge. You a know what? Gift? As a gift of my appreciation, right, for whatever the three days that I got, right, she can have the oh, bracelet. First of all, I'm all I'm is saying well, is that you know you two started. Hey, 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 hey! You know the first you thing said you did. Twenty-eight days. Twenty-nine. Stop. Stop. I'm done. I'm through. I know. <laughs> There's nothing else I can say. Nothing else I could do. Please take your pills back. And I do use them, need please, because they would be nice once in a while. Why do you and there will be no recovery. So we done, baby. So no, 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 we oh, were no. No, no, All no, no, right. Parties may leave the courtroom. Y'all take me to court. No, no, the first thing you got to do Parties is have to leave the courtroom. If you want to make this marriage work, you got to be right with me, right? You, you tell me how much you love me, how much you want to be with me. Quit spending my money. Well, spend our money together as one. You ain't got to go, go bro, buy it. Look at this. You look fantastic. Don't get me wrong. Thank you. Right? Right? Thank but you. damn, I'm on my to, expense. I'm supposed to represent supposed to, us. Yeah, well, you represent you and your friends and everybody else besides me. So what's my representation that I get from you? I don't get anything from you. The, the only thing you get, want from me is one thing. The only thing you I do is my credit thing. card gets me going down. You want down. one thing from me.